Lead is a naturally occurring metal. In the past, it was used in many different ways, but we now know that it can be a health concern. Lead in our drinking water is one possible way of being exposed to lead. When drinking water leaves EPCOR's water treatment facilities and travels through our distribution system, it contains no measurable level of lead. However, lead can still occur in your drinking water. There are two main sources of lead in drinking water, lead service lines and household plumbing. Every home has a pipe that connects your property's plumbing to the water main in the street. This is called the water service line. EPCOR is responsible for the portion of the service line that runs from the water main to your property line, the utility portion. Homeowners are responsible for the portion of the service line that runs from the property line to the water meter inside the home or building. If your home was built before 1960, it is more likely that you have a lead service line. If you receive an annual lead notification from EPCOR, this means our records show the utility portion of your service line is lead. If you don't receive a lead notification from EPCOR, the homeowner portion of your service line could still be lead. For privacy reasons, EPCOR doesn't maintain records of private service line material on the homeowner side. If you aren't sure if the homeowner portion of your service line is lead, you can perform some simple steps to check. First, locate the emergency water shutoff valve or water meter in your home. Next, check the color of the pipe coming out of the ground and into the meter. You may have to lightly sand or scrape the pipe surface to expose its true color. If the pipe is the color of a Canadian penny, it's copper. If the pipe is a bluish green, similar to a garden hose, it's likely plastic. If the pipe is dark gray, it's likely galvanized iron or lead. If your pipe appears to be dark gray in color and you suspect it might be lead, you can check the hardness of the pipe. To do this, you need to take a sharp tipped object like a screwdriver or a key and gently etch into the pipe. If the exposed pipe is a bright, shiny silver color like a dime, it could be lead. Lead is a relatively soft and malleable metal that cuts easily. If the color and hardness of your pipe indicate that you might have a lead service line, please visit epcor.com lead for next steps and information on how to contact our lead management program representative. Whether your service line is lead or not, we encourage everyone to follow good water quality practices, including do not use water from your hot taps for drinking, eating, cooking, or baking. Only consume water from your cold taps, then heat it up if needed. Run your cold water tap for at least three minutes or until cold anytime you haven't used the water for six or more hours if you will be drinking or cooking with it. This flushing time can be reduced if combined with other water use like flushing toilets, showering, or running household appliances like the dishwasher or washing machine. While there is a risk that drinking water can come into contact with lead, if you are informed about the plumbing in your home and exercise good water quality practices, you can greatly reduce the risk of lead in your drinking water.